Okay, gang, I took delivery of a uh, 1971 Super Beetle today. It's going to be a new project here at the Ragamuffin Garage. And it's a pretty solid little car, really. Um, however, it's uh, it needs some TLC. Lots of it. You can see that there was some uh, body work done here. The paint's peeling off of that. Uh, and pretty much the whole... The whole paint job is like that. It wasn't. It wasn't prepped right. It wasn't. It wasn't even primed. It was, they painted over the the old orange, and you can see here the paint coming off. So that's going to have to be. The whole car is going to have to be stripped and uh, painted. She said she wanted to go back with the orange, and that is not my job. That's going to be my brother-in-law's job, uh, as far as the body work goes. What she definitely wants me to do with the car is to. Uh, get it all mechanically sound but we're going to put a set of disc brakes on the front get rid of the drums i need to uh, the, uh, i need to get in here and take the gas tank out we're going to put a new gas tank in it however the cable the release cable that's inside the glove box the handle is broken off and there is no cable showing so uh, that door's locked at any rate i'll go around this way and show you Okay, you can see the, the release is supposed to be here. The cable housing is there, but there's no cable sticking out. So what I'll probably have to do is just cut the back of the glove box out and cut enough of the cable off to the sheathing of the cable and get that released. So I can get to the, uh, get in there to the gas tank and get that all taken care of. We're gonna take care of all the electrical stuff. The, you can see the key key switches over here and the housing here that held the the ignition switch the original ignition switch is broken so we're going to put a new new housing on there get that fixed up good you can see we have some wires cut and so on and so forth so we need to fix that we're going to put a new clutch pressure plate throughout bearing in it let's go back here let's take a look at the engine sorry for the bad uh, video work I don't have my other camera, I'm just using my phone, so it's not going to be real good video work here. What we're going to do is take the engine out, we're going to take the old Solex carburetor off, and we're going to uh, uh, put a set of dual Webers on it. Uh, we're going to freshen it up, uh, we're going to just oversize the jugs a little bit, we're going to build a 1641, we're going to put an electronic ignition in it. Uh, what else? What else? Let's see, oh yeah, I'm gonna put a, a oil pump on it and filters where she can have a, a actual oil filter on it. We're gonna put a alternator on it, get rid of the old generator. So yeah, there's a lot of work to do and that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's just right off the top of my head what we had discussed. And we're gonna put a new top on it. You can see that I took the glass out of it before it was towed. The glass is here and it's in good shape. The rear glass. I didn't want that blowing off going down the highway. So this top is toast, and I believe she's probably, if I know Miss Krista, she's probably just going to go ahead and do a new interior on it. But it's got the usual stuff, you know, the battery, the battery tray and the floor is rusted out, and that's just normal for these old cars. But it's going to be, a, should be a really good little project, and we're going to get on this just as quick as we can. I told her that I would do my dead level best to have her car back to her by summer so she could enjoy it. But then it's going to be back and forth. She'll be driving it and, and then bringing it back and do the rest. That's not, I'm not going to have all this work done before summer. The main thing is right now is the engine, and we're going to have to put a new exhaust system on it. It's got the old, the old original exhaust. I'm sure it's, a, it's just a, a old 1600. It's a, yeah, it's, it's even a single port. Wow. Yeah, we're going to find a set of heads for it. We'll put a we'll put a good set of heads on it and build the uh, 1641 and the dual Webers. It ought to make a, a good little engine. The reason I say that is because the guy that I got it from, the shop that where I went and picked it up, they'd had it for like four years, and he just didn't have time to get into the project. Um, it was one of those things, a long-term deal, you know. So, he said that uh, when he had it started, 
uh, that it smoked some, and I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that whatsoever. So we'll put a new set of uh, piston cylinders, a good set of heads, and uh, Weber's, and new exhaust, and I'll make her a decent little motor. And that's providing that it doesn't have too much in play. I'm going to have to uh, measure the in play on it. And if the in play is within limits and it's okay, then we'll just go ahead and do the top end. But obviously, if the if it's got too much in play, we're going to, have to take the whole the whole engine down and rebuild it from the ground up. Anyway, that's that's pretty much it with this '71 Super Beetle. It's going to be a fun project. I'm really looking forward to it. You guys take care.